Checking out Appledore Island this morning. You can see some birds flying in there. The boats are out. But oh, oh, every time, Mallory, this is just kind of what happens. Ooh. We're like, hey, what's We're going moving. on? And they take us for a ride. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, here we go. There we are. See, and now we just check out this. Hey, House, how's it going? Um, and hey, Mallory, thanks for hanging out with us this Saturday morning. Ryan gets to sleep in a little bit, but the weather, man, yeah. not, not what you're used to when you fill in. I know. Usually I bring such nice weather. It's right? like the perfect day and <laughs> everyone gets a good vacay day. And sorry, Ryan. I mean, it's not terrible. Like we've been talking about, it's not a washout, but a little bit of planning in your Saturday. We have a bit of some shower activity this morning. That's moving through a lot of northern and western parts of the state right now. And then we get a break and we'll have some pop-ups this afternoon. So certainly not a day that you have to scratch off all your plans, but just have the quick plan B to run inside for 10 minutes. We had a shower come through here in Norway. It was in and out in seven minutes flat. So that's the type of thing you'll be dealing with this morning. Uh, it's, the exception might be up in the county where those showers are a little bit closer together and a little bit more well-formed, but for western parts of the state, they are going to be moving pretty quick. It's a warm front coming through today, so we will start to feel the humidity increase, and that's why we're getting these showers this morning. Cold front doesn't quite come through this afternoon, but it's going to provide a, just enough juice to the atmosphere to pop some things up this afternoon, so that's why we kind of have a one-two punch today. 68 in Sanford, 69 for Portsmouth. We have 59 in Rangeley, 56 for Greenville, also in Caribou, 61 in Bar Harbor, 62 in Rockland. Immediate coastline areas will be much cooler today with that onshore breeze compared to inland areas. Now the dew point going to sneak up. We see those brighter colors to our south and west and yep, that's coming in. So do expect the stickiness factor to increase today and you may want to get that air conditioner ready. If you're going out for the day and you're not a fan of the humidity, maybe get the AC or the dehumidifier on before you head out, just so you're not coming home to such a sticky warm house. Temperatures are going to continue moving up this morning, but slowly we don't get that big temperature rise that we typically see 9, 10 o'clock, Probably won't see it till 11 or 12 o'clock because of the morning cloud cover and shower activity. But because of that sunshine that we get late morning, early afternoon, this may pop up some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. The cold front is far enough away that I don't expect this to be widespread, but these will be isolated shower and thunderstorm chances. And the Storm Prediction Center has this outline in a low risk the entire state, but that's because it's just a pop-up possibility. So go along with your plans for today. Just have that quick transition plan if you need to get inside if you hear those rumbles of thunder. Temperatures tonight are going to stay a little bit warm. We will stay in the 60s most of the for most of the state, a few isolated 50s possible in the mountains. Father's Day looks great. Isolated shower possible mostly in the county. Temperatures on the other side of 80 degrees. Still seeing that stickiness factor, but that drier air will feel good tomorrow. Temperatures will be in the 60s again overnight into Monday. Monday, I anticipate some more widespread shower and thunderstorm activity. We see that here in the hour by hour forecast, a day that we will be watching for the potential of some severe weather. On the water, we have a small craft advisory, seas at three to four feet. We will have those gusts upwards of 25 knots today, so a bit breezy on the water. Tomorrow, that slight chance of a shower north for Father's Day. Otherwise, we are staying pretty good for Dad's Day. We have an isolated storm chance into the afternoon and evening for Monday, definitely Monday night into Tuesday as a cold front comes through. And then again, just a stunning mid to end of the week for us. We're looking at mid 70s, low humidity, plenty of sunshine, perfect summer days and summer officially starts tomorrow night.